Oh yeah, it's a stage of life, definitely. We're always on that. We just become very passive. We're trained to become passive, to be passive. Because we don't uh, yeah, know how to be active. You know, as children, you know, our activity, we're told how to... <laughs> oh, this is nice, you know. I just spoke with this little girl. <laughs> and they're looking at me like, what is he doing here? Wow, I'm listening to some Bach right now. Piano, wow. So much peace. You really be at peace, to be in that space. And I like the person I have become. Because I've, I've learned to uh, not really allow for that process to unfold in me and guide me very much so. My lessons and how it's been for me and how it still is, and the difficulties there. Uh, I realize that. And absolutely. And being there, yeah. The three of us. <laughs> I always told my children one for all and all for one. We were living in Kansas and things were so difficult. I talked to him in that night and read him his story, and I said, one for all and all for one, like the three musketeers, we all that. But for me, it is like the three, me, myself, and I. Is that body, mind, and soul? <laughs> the Holy Trinity within us, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, within all of us, within you. You understand? Jesus is within. God is within, of course. The Jesus experience is about the disconnect which took place as our spirits were broken against authority. It happens to all of us. <laughs> no hard feelings. It's just kind of <laughs> authority is a good thing, absolutely. Absolutely. The authority, though, is within. That's where we use our higher essence. But the authority, always, all authorities throughout human history always have been in place. And we had to submit ourselves to those. And so that, that's a problem. And yeah, we, well, we have to submit ourselves to that. I don't know, this little girl, you know, she keeps uh, coming here, you know, she... <laughs> oh, man, it's good to be interested, that's the thing, and children are like this, you know, we just... We just, uh, we just unlearn. We stop being spontaneous, you know, we stop uh, inquiring. Yeah, because we've become busy, Yeah. We don't have time anymore. Like thinking, you know, we stopped thinking a long time ago. We had to because we, we had to remember, we had to memorize. We were forced into the, well, you know, let's not keep on going about that. We had to submit ourselves to outside authority. Let's just leave it at that. We can agree on, well, we can agree on that. If you, don't, if, you, if you don't agree with that, I would be interested in hearing from you, but if you do, and really want to take this further, and again, like, wow, I'm glad I'm created this space. I am here in this space. And I'm more aware that I am and always have been. Now, we all are in our space, in our own personal space, in our private space, which is different from our social space, from our public space, with others, when we are with others. And uh, in communication, really, I've come to find when we relate ourselves to others. Because I've been this lifelong observer studying human nature and looking at people. It's about really how you allow others to be in their own space and how to give them space. Very, very simple. And then to, at certain moments you will interject and you say something to redirect the flow of what is being said. Because through communication we learn. Communication is key. And it's really how we communicate and when we talk to people. And how we feel as a result of that, yeah. And how we are, how we experience, and through this we create, how we realize, and through this we actualize. It makes some, maybe that makes some more sense now, I hope it does. It does to me. <laughs> Every time I talk about it, I'm like, wow, this is, uh, I should really charge for that, right? But the best things in life are free. It's really not about money. It's really about what you get from the experience, what you do. That's the thing. That's the key. I love doing this because this is my reward. Of course it is. Like I, when I'm on Pal Talk, for example, I love doing this and talking to people. 
you definitely get something out of there that is beyond, you know, the monetary compensation. Of course, this, I mean, it's about how you use time. It can be priceless, absolutely. It's really depending, that's why it's an important question, what is it worth to you? I really look at that, you know, really based upon what you want. What is important to you? What do you want to learn? What do you want to get out of this? Is this about you? Yeah, what do you want? So, uh, anyway, enough of this for right now. Uh, let you think about that. Do think about that. Let's communicate. Let's do that, all right? Thank you.